2019 was going to be my year. I got a promotion at my job, but I just didn't feel right. I didn't feel good physically and I knew something was off. And I went to doctor after doctor and was told it was different things like eczema, stress, a lack of sleep, until I found out that I was diagnosed with cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I was blessed with good health for three decades of my life and then all of a sudden, boom, you have cancer. Boom, you have to start chemotherapy. That, that was like just the blow. That was hard to, hard to take in the beginning. But then we just, we said, okay, this is what we have to do. We're gonna deal with it together. Lymphomas, lymphoma can be tricky because sometimes the symptoms are vague. I think those problems can be compounded if they have a primary care physician or whatever it is who, who you know, they don't connect with well, you know, whether it be culturally or linguistically, that magnifies the problem tremendously. I didn't find City of Hope, City of Hope found me. Uh, I was in a different hospital and my oncologist at the time, he was a lovely man, and he said to me, I think you would be in the best hands at City of Hope with Dr. Herrera. What I loved the most about Dr. Herrera is you didn't just inherit me as a patient. You didn't just get me. You got me, you got my mom, and you had my, at the time, 84 year old grandmother in tow too. So when I go to a checkup, they're coming with me. And Dr. Herrera was all about family. He understood us. He connected to us on a cultural level. And he was just really easy to talk to. The way he explained something to me, he made sure he was able to explain it to my mom and grandma as well. I think for many cultures, particularly in, in our, you know, kind of Hispanic community, uh, family plays a huge role. I always, take great care to make sure uh, that family members are engaged, that they're understanding. To be honest with you, a lot of the times when a patient's going through cancer treatment or diagnosis, it's hard to absorb everything. You know, it's so overwhelming, but family members can play a critical role in, in helping to kind of catch all that information. My family's so important to me. Like I get, em I actually get really emotional talking about them because I do, because who else can say they have their mom and grandma by their, by their side their whole time during treatment? I always tell people if you're gonna have to face a cancer diagnosis, there's no better place to be than City of Hope. And Cassie in the Positive Image Center, she came to my room, she braided my hair, and that's when I started shedding my hair for the first time. And I started grasping the idea of, wow, I'm gonna lose my hair. And she was there to say, no worries, I've got you, come down here, I'll help you with scarves, wigs, haircuts. And do you know what the City of Hope staff did for me? I was going through chemo. I was missing the Emmys. They put on scrubs and they drew like a tuxedo bow tie. And then they had their flashes on their phones to make it look like they were paparazzi for me. We were all having an Emmy watch party and it made it a little less sad, a little less hard for me knowing that I was missing all the action. It was my home away from home. As a parent, I mean, you never expect your child to get sick. And just to see her journey of how she received her diagnosis and how she took the path to healing, I'm just so proud of her. I'm so glad that City of Hope found me. It all happened for a reason. I love City of Hope for being diverse and being connected and being aware. And I went from check-in to labs, to going to the doctor, you've seen such a sea of diverse faces from all ages, all backgrounds, gender, everything. Representation matters. As a Hispanic physician, I take it really, you know, as, an op as, a, as a real privilege to be able to serve patients in our community, um, you know, from underserved backgrounds who, you know, might not have always had access to excellent, you know, world-class care like we can provide at City of Hope. I felt in the best hands at City of Hope, and I felt part of a City of Hope club that I never knew I would have a membership to, and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs>